Hey guys, welcome back to Food Tech Journey. So today we are going to discuss about hurdle technology. So without further delay, let's start. What is hurdle technology? It is the combined use of several preservation methods to make the product shelf life stable and to improve quality product and to improve the quality of the food product and add safety to the product. Hurdles, hurdles or hurdle technology is also called as combined preservation or barrier technology. There are four types of hurdles. Physical, which includes high and low temperature, high low pressure and different radiations. Microbial includes the competitive flora and antibiotics. Chemical includes salt, smoke, phenols, acids and other chemical compounds. And miscellaneous include the free fatty acids and chitosan related compounds. There are four aspects of hurdle technology. These are the main four aspects of hurdle technology. So do remember the terms guys. First is homeostasis, then metabolic exhaustion, stress reaction and multi-target preservation. So starting with homeostasis. What is homeostasis? Here the food preservation is achieved by disturbing the homeostasis of microorganisms or you can say the tendency to uniformity and stability in the internal status of microorganisms. This is the scientific definition guys. In simple words you can just remember it like this that microbes will not multiply. They will either remain in like phase or they will die. Understood? Next is metabolic exhaustion. Metabolic exhaustion is the very important step as the success of hurdle depends on ensuring the metabolic exhaustion. In this, the, the availability of energy is restricted which can be done by using MAP that is modified atmosphere packaging or oxygen free vacuum. Third is stress reaction. Stress reaction, it means that you have heard that some bacteria becomes more resistant due to stress reaction and hampers the food preservation reactions. So the stress response of microbes is due to the synthesis of various shock proteins and this is because of heat, pH and water activity which takes place in the process. Last one is multi-target preservation. Multi-target preservation uh, is done by the preservative factors which disturb the homeostasis of microorganisms so the microorganisms cannot take part in hurdles which are present in food product this is due to different complex interactions of various factors understood till here moving ahead to advantages of hurdle technology there are various advantages like it saves money and energy it improves the quality of the food products and increases the shelf life. It doesn't affect food integrity and it is applicable at large as well as small scale industry. There are many applications of hurdle technology. The main or you can say the major applications include the fermented food. As you know the fermented food which is fermented by the processing of beneficial microorganisms on food shelf stable products which are stable at high temperatures and uh, food design innovative food designs for new food products and intermediate moisture foods which have very less moisture activity so these are the major applications thank you so much guys for watching the video if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section or you can also ask on our Instagram handle. You can also mail us at the Red Food Tech Journey K 
keep spreading the content guys and help us in growing and reach the ones in need thank you so much keep supporting like this